come in right up under me. I was able to smack them. Hi, I'm Lee Johnson. I'm hunting a small woodlot in my neighborhood. Now I have five or six different woodlots I like to hunt, but in this particular one, I've decided to lay off the doe. I'm hoping to meet up with a big old buck I've been getting pictures of. Now he shed his velvet and seems to have disappeared. But I'm sure anticipating that meeting. You might say, we have unfinished business. Then, I spot movement. It's a slick head. Now, like usual, I had BFO on my boots as I walked in. And she's coming up my back trail with her nose to the ground. I've seen this before. She's right there beside the bottom. Oh yeah, that nose is working overtime. yards. While she's infatuated with the bow under fatal obsession sin, I have plenty of time to get off the shot. But since I'm not gonna risk spooking that big old buck by dragging out a fat doe, let's try something different. Now I picked up a few acorns on my way in. Now it'll never work, but let's see if I can hand feed a wild deer. I'll pretend like they fell out of a tree and I'll drop them right in front of her nose. Unbelievable. Not only did she eat them, 
but I hit her in the head with one of them. I guess she thought it fell out of the tree. Now when she walked up, I was munching on mixed nuts and sipping on sweet tea for my canteen. I switched to throwing peanuts and she didn't miss a stroke. Now you know that you'd never believe this if I didn't video it. Now judging off the trees around me, you can tell I hunt pretty high. Real high. But it's a good thing too. With all the giggling and wiggling I was doing, she would have surely picked me off. Now my camera arm won't quite point straight down, so I can't get all of this. But I think you get the picture. You know, I didn't think about it at the time, but I hope this is not considered baiting. <laughs> hey, I didn't shoot it. But I'll tell you one thing though, you can bet the ranch. If that buck showed up, I wouldn't be throwing peanuts. You know, there's one thing that really does have me puzzled. I can't believe that she doesn't get my scent off the peanuts. The only thing I can think of is that VFO I threw down there must be a show enough awesome cover scent. Well, I'm pretty sure she came in here looking for white oak acres hit my scent trail and followed me to my tree. But she's completely forgot about the acorns now and I'm getting low on peanuts. I guess I better snap back to reality before that buck shows up. This is one day I'll never forget. The day I fed peanuts to a deer McNugget.